Good evening, folks. This is Darth Ravage 07 coming to you today with another quick review. It's been a month and some change since I've got this figure from the Winston Salem Haynes Mall Target on the way to the beach to top sale last month. And I got the 8615. Got a box sludge. My box is a little beat up, banged up. That's okay. Really thank Brandon for snagging this for me and holding it up front till I got down there to pick it up on the way to the beach. And it does this, that, and other stuff. Sludge so breaks down the courtroom door and crashes with the sun. Uh, I'm not going to be hanging on this stuff like this much longer. I really do love the art. wish this actually came with the fire effect. Pause and scan here for those looking in store. Let's take a look at the, the mighty sludge out of his package. So what all comes in the box? Uh, of course, you got these awesome instructions. 3615 sludge. Showing you how to adapt the head and neck piece for the dyno mode into the robot mode out of the box because that comes loose. And then you got these nicely illustrated instructions that get you through a very, uh, it's not super simple, but not a really sophisticated process to get him into his Brontosaurus mode in 31 steps and other stuff and things for weapon storage and what the like. We have sludge there on the turntable, looking all awesome. He also comes with this big old rocket launcher, and it's blast effects compatible. It looks really amazing in hand. Just wish that the price point and the rise in prices that we actually got a blast effect like on the box there. Blast effect for this thing and uh, the swords. I don't think that's asking for too much more. And uh, my sludge had quite a bit of QC going on. It had a, a loose legs and whatnot, but I did the fix. You can see the link down in the video there. So that's fixed now, and it doesn't do that. And it's got good clickety ratchety joints there, soft ratchet joints. Uh, the hips are very good now. And it's a shame that we got to keep doing that. And I'm going to try to apply the Larkin's Layer Norb's die cast fixed where you heat that up and you bend those in to where that's not floppy anymore. So that's my complaints out of the way thus far, like right off bat on the turntable. Let's just take a look at that robot mode and admire what is a really nice robot mode. And you can see how all that works out there. I love the silver used there on the wings. Uh, the transformation is absolute blast. I mean, good night. I absolutely love how you get there with the legs to, to the bot. It just, just really, the best one of the Dinobots that's got that much going for it. Uh, articulation wise, you get the ankle rocker. Like I said, you get the full money and stuff now, just to show you the other leg, how it does now that it has the fix applied. You got a waist swivel, which is an absolute must. You got wrist swivels. Those are big, big things for me. Uh, just think that every one of these from core class to Commander class and masterpiece should have the whole gambit of this stuff. You got the upper bicep swivel there, as I just demonstrated. What's really nice is when you go to extend this thing up. I mean, it, to a degree, it doesn't mold break there. I'm gonna try to get the light on it. There we go. So it looks really nice until you go all the way up like that, and then you start getting mold break with it. And just a little details like this goes a long ways. Uh, you can do a full 360 if the wings were not attached and they. Mine, like I said, pop off, so I'm definitely going to do the hot water fix I saw earlier on these two pieces right here to where it squeezes that. If that doesn't work, then I will get a hold of stuff and hopefully get a pin all the way down through that hole. And this this is something that should not have been an issue for, like I said, the price point that we pay for these these days. That should have never been an issue. Love the, he's got a 360 at the head and some up. Depending on you know how much you need there, and you can see those beautiful eyes and that space sculpt, the paint that was used on it. Tampo, the Autobot symbol looks amazing. Uh, really wish that the the, the dark one thing would still open up on these and whatnot, but that's okay. That's just a small little piece there, and it's got all the accompanying ports all the way around. Uh, actually, it doesn't have it there on the side of the leg, but 
this is the other negative I have besides loose joints is the hollowness. And this this is just not necessary. There is uh Imgo has a they got a hold of a piece that fills this in, makes it bigger, makes it better. And I'll put the link to that down in the thing there too. So that whoever wants to fix that and make it look more solid, we can do so. All right, that's about going to do it for the robot mode. Let's get him right here real quick and uh, this weapon mounted. Give me just a second more. Here is Sludge on the turntable with the weapon mounted and looking really, really awesome. But this is not the reason why we get this guy. We get him to go with his teammates. And that is really where I think this shines, is being with his Dinobot brother in the first three that were made by Will Jack and Ratchet all together. So then there's the latest edition we have Sludge. And I know it's slow because slag is a little bit offensive to folks, but slag in his robot mode looking amazing. I gotta get some gap fillers to fill in the gaps and especially like with the dinosaur modes and Grimlock with his mods and whatnot and he's got the fillers there and anyway. Just really wish that the, the holy, the, for the most part, Sludge doesn't have any gappage except for the bottom of the feet. So that is a big plus with him. But uh, as you will see when we get into dinosaur mode, that's kind of where the weakness is. Uh, but it's not a total weakness because these guys look amazing together. Be a couple seconds for you, but let's get them transformed and get them into dinosaur mode and see how the Dinobots stack up together. Thanks again for watching. And there is Dinobot Sludge on the turntable, looking absolutely magnificent. I love that you can decompose that head how you need to, and he comes with all his teeth. He's got a blast effect port there, so if you had some really cool flame effects, you can play them on there. Uh, it'd be awesome if he had his little eye beams as well, because he used that in the show too. Uh, articulation is very limited, but that's what it is with most Dinobots. That's okay, he's got some storage underneath and some ungodly uh, cavity right here. But that's where if you do the foot fix, this gets filled in and this looks better. It gives you a smoother belly there. That's what they should have done to begin with, but that's okay, it's here or there. And I wish that we could get some sprue covers in the future releases, uh, snarl, swoop, cover up the god ungodly uh, screw sprues. But uh, this guy is really, really awesome. Kind of thick in the tail. This great detailing all the way around and all together. I really do enjoy this quite a bit. Looks really, really, really awesome. And of course, you know, like the robot mode, you don't get it just for this guy. You also get the other teammates on the turntable. And that looks spectacular having them all sit there together. Looking all Awesome, like Dinobot should look. Uh, just need to get a hold of Snarl and Swoop now, and hopefully they'll they'll you know not have the QC issues Sledge has had right out of the box. But uh, these two were really solid, and and the only thing that's not solid is the back of his legs, like I was saying. And hopefully I can find the components to fill in those gaps and make this guy whole, because the rest of them is whole. And there's no silly little human or willy to, to dangle off the shoulder or anything. There's no ports for it either. Uh, should just be focused about the Dinobots. And with that said and done, let's get into some final thoughts on Sludge. Thanks again for watching my channel and my reviews. Some final thoughts on my Sludge figure here. I really do think that with the QC, that... This should have been a commander class size, and I think it scaled better in dinosaur mode. But when you get them in robot mode, that's where this guy really shines. And they're all the same height. If you look at the animation pictures, you can see that very same detail there. They just kind of feel small in his brontosaurus mode. Slag's actually a little higher, as you can see going around the turntable. Uh, Grimlock's big like he needs to be, but I could swear the sludge should be. At least a commander class size and that would have been all right for the robot mode too he's just a little bit he, he's a big guy 
and bra sources are huge. But all that said and done, I I can't wait to get a hold of Snarl and 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 Swoop, and hopefully tomorrow being the tenth, we'll find out more details on when if Snarl and Swoop will be coming. Hopefully, it won't be another year, as we are all getting older as collectors, and we really, really just want to complete our collections and have the nice bragging rights, you know. Anyway, all that said and done, I highly recommend him. If you've got these two, this is a no-brainer. If you're a G1 fan, also a no-brainer. It's just when are they going to get the other ones out there? And hopefully they'll come with some blast, effect, blast effects and some sprue covers. I mean, come on, guys. Prices increase. you got to up the ante with the accessories and the other good stuff. Thanks again for watching my channel. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're in a position to help and can help the channel very more. Please consider donating to my Patreon. Just want to say thank you again to all the subscribers that I've done. Subscribe down on the, the page there and just feeling really super blessed. Went on holiday, found this, came back home, found the four pack of stuff, and, and then just it kind of July got out of control after that. I mean, just all the constant releases and what have you. Hopefully, moving forward, QC will be better, distribution, and, and I'm just hoping everybody finds a cosmos as we go forward. Have a great week out there, everybody. Till all in one.